Hello, I'm Krixius and I have the very first uh, preview build of Neos VR for the Oculus Quest and you can, as you can see I'm using it right now. So it's pretty much the same as the desktop of Neos, of course, uh, with uh, the performance of the Oculus Quest. This build is still has lots of issues, but it's generally working. So for example, you can see like there's this other hard thing, so I need to get rid of that. The controllers themselves they are working, I can like I can move around a bit. I have like full positional tracking. And I'm just here in the in the um, home environment. So all the shaders they don't work right now. So you can see essentially these are actually work right now. And it's actually caused by a bug in Unity. So I filed a bug report, so we'll have to see if uh, they can fix that and if not we'll have to find a workaround. But generally things things just work. So you can see this is actually proper nails and the syncar because I signed into this account on true computer like on my computer on the quest, so I don't pay attention to that, but in general this is uh, working the same as the desktop version. Of course you have to be a little more considerate. Right now there's no filtering and this seems to be broken actually. Uh, there's uh, you can actually use the world browser, just the browse worlds on the quest, but you have to be careful about which ones you open because, like right now, there's no filtering for mobile hardware, so you might out, you might end up completely crashing. But in general, things if you want some simple worlds, they actually they actually work. But before that, let's actually go to the inventory because you can use that as well. And any of the items, yeah, make this one favorite material. Any of the items you can actually use, you can actually use uh, on the quest as well. Everything, everything is compatible, bearing for some bugs or uh, issues with performance. So let's actually try some weapons. So for example, I have this uh, this ray gun. So let's find it out. There's still a lot of things that will be improved, especially generally uh, involving performance. Right now we don't have the full asset variant system yet, so the textures are so pretty more the bolting routines will be updated as well. But you see the behavior is there. The items work. I can wait to see the one that yep, uh, let's try this one, this one needs a little bit of a uh a bit of a sm colorful smoke. Ah, it's really smells. And I can tell this, this one, the charge it off is a little bit better than the floor rate. Let's try something else. Let's try. Uh, oh, this one. I'll tell you a little more because there's no other players in this world, of course. But okay, I'm just, I can tell you. There are some visual differences because uh, the, the Quest, it's an uh, original mobile, it doesn't have the post processing filters. I'll say we'll enable at least the blue. Uh, assuming it doesn't have too bad of a performance impact, so that's something else to be aware of. Uh, let's try. I should try. Uh, let's see if this one works. It has pretty heavy logics. I said this one I think was broken at some point. I'm sure this is the right version. Okay, I'll start out it. Oh, no, no. It's broken. But I think it's the broken version. It's broken the same way on the PC. So, I'll have to grab the hammer. Also, again, for other players to test it on right now. I'm not sure if this records the sounds, so this might be without sounds, but I can actually hear them. Oh, this is the holy weapon. Oh, and the and this one, I like this one. So, <laughs> it actually works pretty well. Oh, I like this one. I can see anything. These weapons they were actually built completely, uh, completely in VR in the in the desktop version, and you can actually load them, load them on the on the quest version. And it just works. And the other one was actually built, I think, completely in the house using just the basic shapes. Like these models, they were imported. 
That's a zero piece. Uh, let's show you something else. Right now, uh, another issue is uh, one of the shaders that don't, doesn't work, but it doesn't work for different reasons, so I need to, I need to look into it and update it. Is the Tomb Shader. But, uh, let's see, what's this number one? There we go. But, Lazarus in general, they work as well, including actually full body avatars. So, it just loads, I can spawn the skeleton. So, let's bring it up. Oh. Wait, no, I think this is actually the version of Dream Shader. Hold on, let me try the other one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this one should work. Yep, yep, this one, this one is good. So, I can actually equip this, and you can see because this is. Uh, the controllers are essentially touch controllers. It has the same, it has the same skeleton model, so this actually works as well on the quest. And I need to disable my. Oop, three coins lost. I need to enable physical mods. I'm scaling myself. Oh, does it come there? So, the controllers are actually working also pretty good. Oh, it's sort of hey, like I. Does this work? Yep. <laughs> yep, this is working. I can make a pile. Okay. So, another thing. Let's actually look at the tools. So, I can use the various tools. For example, I can use this. I can, I can edit. So, let me this. You guys, uh, you guys actually one of the things that also needs to be updated in, in general in EOS to improve performance because right now oh, I'm using tripping again. Uh, because like it's one of the one of those things that has pretty bad performance because like it's one of the oldest things in EOS and um, is essentially sort of like a prototype version that needs to be overturned, but it does work even on the quest. So you can see I can I can adjust adjust this. Uh, I could even. I was putting some other texture. And there's essentials. I said that you know, this takes a little bit more for load, so I need to. I'm not sure if that's just the quest or if it can be improved, but uh, let's try perfect effects. Let's try like a circle, for example. Let's do a bit here. Yep. And we're standing on a giant pink circle. Yep. Uh, you can actually see like it already unloaded the other texture. And then actually I did on the quest because the hardware is a little bit more constrained. Uh, as it's unloaded a little bit faster than on the disco version. Because it doesn't have as much memory to spare, so you might notice uh, notice a little bit of a difference in behavior there. So you see the editing works. I can even like do things like uh, open inspector for something. So let's open this. I can see I can I can essentially interact it through the same way I can do on the PC version. Let's push it. As much as uh, I don't like non uniform scaling, it can sometimes be fun. Uh, I can open the inspector. This actually doesn't seem to load that slower like the, like compared to PC. So see this this is, this is also working, there's cool mesh. Let's let's just uh, adjust the uh, Reduce some height, let's just adjust the random, random thing. Oh. Not sure what I made, but I see it works. Can I adjust the material? But this is actually using a different. Let me change it to blue, maybe. You see, essentially, the other thing works the same way it does on the PC version. That's actually one of the big benefits of the, of the hand controllers. So. They are set. Um, I think let's look at the brushes because those I think are particularly interesting on the quest because it's one of the uh, one of the. Oh, I just don't remember. Actually, never mind. I just don't remember how to save, but I'm gonna keep this. Actually, never mind. I have, I have saved version. Why am I not bothering with it? There we go. So I'm gonna. So let's try a brush. So let's try this one, for example. And there's a brush. You can draw around. This works. 
And I'll start to break them on. Also works. Let's try this one. Do. We can do X cubes. Cubes are nice. Uh, what else? Oh, let's try the complex on brush. So see, this one is working also. Right now the convex ones they're pretty heavy on performance, you can see it starts running out of steam faster than on PC. But because uh, the mesh is being updated, uh, updated asynchronously on the current thread, it doesn't actually impact your frame rate. Just the rate of the mesh updates. This one, this works as well. There's still lots of work to be done, but like I'm, I'm already pretty happy with the state of the quest goal because I think this is this is really a really good beginning and a lot of things that I thought would be broken they actually work. Uh, let's try this one. So yeah, I don't think that's very simple. But so actually opening a world. So probably a simple one. Polygon. Let's see about polygon perhaps. Usually, like, low poly doesn't automatically mean it's gonna be optimized, but let's try it out. It runs on very rich access computers, so perhaps it will run on this. So, let's see. Oh, it's actually... It actually looks like my avatar, but the... The tune shader... Actually, it's interesting, the shader works. Oh, yeah, I think there's something real heavy. I think this word is actually using the volume... Volume for uh, for the flow again. It's very it's very performance heavy because it's m like meant to visualize three D uh, like volume three data. So yep, I think it's called the quest. So let's, let's try restarting it. Other issue with the quest right now uh, is actually slow. Nicely, oh, it's not recording. Another issue is actually slow startup time, it takes a little bit to boot up and this is mostly because of um, uh, because of the JIT compilation, because essentially it's using the monoscripting backend and uh, it's actually compiling all of the Neos' uh, code from the integrate assembly to native and it takes a while. It's also one of the reasons like why the first time, like, for example, when you open some new UI, it actually... You know, what has happened? It's one of the reasons why it has actually... There we go. One of the reasons why like it, it will freeze up a little bit, but the second time it won't. It's because like it's compiling all the new code that needs to be used. And this will be resolved by using the you know, the C++ scripting backend, which will also like improve the general performance. So I've already tested with that one, it loads in about 7 seconds, last time I tested it, but there are still some issues to resolve with this that prevented it from actually being used, so... Um, the builds will be using this for now. But I should, I should have it with the ELC C++ pretty soon. So, let's wait for it to so load again. So, let's see. It's popping up. Oh, there we go. There we go, and we're back. And no, no plan has saved. So let's see what the other world. Actually, there's another thing I wanted to try. You see, this is like a first time like new UI is being opened. It just freezes a little bit, but the next time it's better because the code is already compiled. But actually, I wanted to try one of my 3D scans. 3D scans can be also pretty dangerous because they're often like very memory hungry. So this is definitely one of the things that will ben like significantly benefit from the acid variant system because uh, especially on the mobile devices with uh, much less memory, the textures really need to be compressed. So the usage is a lot more, a lot more efficient. So let's spawn this one. It's my favorite. It's always making people hungry. Yeah, and it's looking pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Like one of the things that I like about the quest is like when I'm gonna be showing things to my family, I can actually bring it and easily like just spawn a scan 
should be not on through the dispensary so without dragging my entire computer with me. Okay, let's try let's try another world. Let's see, uh, let's see uh, because I know I tried to build a yin. Oh. Sure let's let's write the let's write the source HR. Space. Well, this is the reply, but let's just try the world. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but let's see. One of the benefits of this one is that it will most likely load in Christ. So let's see. Okay. There we go. And you can see this most exquisite uh, contest entry. So we cannot see some parts of it because they are using the tool trainer, which doesn't work. Okay, so let's leave this one. Quest. I think this one actually works. I think this one has too many items for it to like, work well. But right, let's try the blood gouge. Let's try the blood gouge. Let's try this. Okay, let's open this. And let's see if it works. It might be even the tune shader might be crushing it because I know it's been causing some issues before when we're looking Oh, there we go. We're loading in. Let's actually go to the hail guy. I'm going to my avatar. Except that I cannot see it. Because it doesn't render. Oh, this is working. There's missing reflections from the skybox. This is one of the things that needs to be resolved on the, on the quest. I actually can see UI in my face. But it's actually working. It's working pretty well. I can climb. So this world is not so surprisingly efficient. Triple it works. So I just like to like just give a bunch of rewards a try and see what works, what doesn't. Yeah, yeah come on. There we go. Oh, that's weird. Let's actually try my favorite the hand chat. That'd be pretty fun to use on the on the quest. Okay, let's see. After this one is actually I think a fair bit heavy because I think it has 4K textures on it. Yep, I can definitely feel the loading. Actually, I think they killed the quest. Yep. So that's 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 no go. The different one is the asset value system. I need to request uh, lower picture quality. Anyway, I think uh, this is good enough for show. So the experimental build is gonna be available to all the Patreon supporters. So thank you very much for watching, and see you for the next update.